Okay, this is the bottle I'm gonna be working with. And I wanna lay down a good coat of just white chalk paint, maybe even two coats. I'm gonna see how this covers. Got a little bit of um, homemade white chalk paint from one of my sweet tater bugs that who makes it for me and I really really love it so let's see how the coverage will be I'm gonna try not to be too fussy with it because it'll all get covered anyway this has been washed soaked dried and is all ready to go this is just gonna prime it to take the next few steps because I want to do, I want to use all the things on this bottle. When I start a mixed media project, I tend to have one idea in mind. I think I know what I want to do and then it evolves and I always end up changing it up a little bit as the project goes along. And I'm betting most of you do too with mixed media. One of the things I love about it is that there are no rules. There's no right or wrong. So you can just jump in and go for it and use whatever it is you have on hand or whatever you want to use on your projects. And I'll admit, I'm kind of fairly new to the bottles. I do a lot of mixed media, but I haven't done a lot with bottles. And um, this one is really exciting for me. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna have a fun time creating it anyway. So I can tell I'm probably gonna want two coats on here, but that's okay. And again, I don't have to be too fussy with this because um, none of this is gonna show. We're gonna cover all of this up. Okay, so I'll be back when this is dried and completely primed. Now that I have two coats of white chalk paint on my bottle and it has dried, I want to do a little decoupage, I think. I'm trying to decide how I want to build up this bottle and what I want to use on it and the possibilities are endless and that's becoming a problem for me. Okay, I'm going to use the decoupage gel. Um, from Redesign, I bought this from Jane Vellante Art. And I think I wanna use, this is a little leftover image that I've had for a while that I just printed out myself. It was in my stack of ephemera, so I don't know exactly where it came from. And I'm thinking about just putting that on the bottle this way. So let's get started here. I'm gonna put a generous amount of this down on the bottle. I'm gonna go down just a little bit further. I don't worry about it being straight. I don't, you know, it, that doesn't bother me. I don't worry about wrinkles because I think it adds character. That's just my personal preference. There are some projects where you really need it to be more precise, but on this one, for the look that I'm going for, I don't mind the wrinkles at all. I want to, I want to make sure Got a good seal on it. And I'm gonna go over the top, see how this does. I've chipped some of the chalk paint off, but I'm not worried about that either. We're, we're gonna be adding more layers anyway. Okay. 
now I want to, I believe I want to add some texture paste to this bottle. Mm. Whoops. Turn this this way. And the texture paste, I mixed up myself. It's one part cornstarch, one part white paint, and half part white glue. Turn it the way you can see it. In case you want to screenshot it, very simple. And I'm just gonna put on a glove and work this around on the bottle just for a little texture. some out and just start smearing it. I just want some yummy texture on this bottle. So that that is just peeking out of all the texture. I don't want to cover up too much of the image. I love the colors in it. Okay. Try to do this without making the, the biggest mess in the world. It's kind of hard. This is a messy messy process but it's so much fun if your hands aren't dirty at the end of the day have you really created anything that's what i always say <laughs> like to have something to show for it So you can see that I don't want it on there smooth. I want all that good texture on the bottle. I'm constantly bobbing and weaving. How do I do? How do I want to do this piece? How do I want to do that piece? Change my mind. Um, but that's the fun of it because um, the opportunities are endless, and you really, or at least one of my mixed media pieces, never turns out exactly the way. I started out envisioning it. It's a surprise, and I love that. I love that. All right. Now, here's the front of it. So we've got that layer going. I want to hit this bottom part just a little more. Okay. All right. Now let me, let's let that dry a little bit before we go on to the next step. Quick change of plans. I was thinking before this dries, I've got this strip of muslin that I think I want to wrap around from the edge of the paper. Kind of like this for another layer of texture. Sorry, y'all. some of these strings out. I want it messy. Maybe, maybe you can't see what I'm doing. Turning it back a little bit. Again, I apologize for my dog. So we've got strings hanging out. We've got messy and it's textured. So that's gonna look really, really cool when it dries. 
And do I want to add any more muslin before it dries? Let's see. We're good. I think we're going to go with... I almost want to tear a strip to put there at the bottom. But here's what we have. Oh, goodness. Let me do that. I think I will. Of course, they have to pick right now while I'm filming. Let's, let's do a little bit of that at the bottom. Almost framing out. Um, yeah, kind of framing out everything. Okay, let me wait for them to get through with all of their noise. Next, I want to work on the topper for the bottle. I just have a plain wood skewer that I believe will be Enough. We're going to fix it to go right down in the bottle. I want to attach it right here to this crown. This is this crown piece is from Totally Dazzled. I love, love, love their stuff. there and just hold it in place while that glue dries. We're going to use paper clay to fix it to the top of the bottle. Hopefully this is going to hold. If not, I'll get out the uh, B7000. So to get the right, need to get the right camera angle for you to be able to see what I'm doing on this part. Get some of these glue strings off. I think this is gonna make a pretty topper. Okay, so I have it on the skewer. It's gonna fit right down in the bottle so it will face forward. And I just wanna put a little hot glue right inside here for that instant that instant hold. And we're going to cut, oops, forget that's not dry yet. Just want this to hold in place long enough for me to get the clay around the mouth of the bottle. Mm. Is that going to be? I want to be sure that it's the way I want it to be, where I want it to be before I. I think that's it. There. Okay, let's let's just go for it with this paper clay. Let's add some paper clay around the mouth of this bottle. I want to put some actually right down in here so it will stay, hopefully. You see, I'm just working it down in there. And I'm going to warm it up, roll it around a little bit, and smooth it. Start smoothing it around. Working it up so you don't see any of that stick. Yeah, it looks from the front here. Okay. This is gonna turn out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It looks kind of funny, doesn't it? It looks a little, it looks a little wonky. Let's work with it. I'm not so sure about this, y'all. I'm not sure if I want this cream topper or not. Let's see. 
the back is going. And of course, the back's probably not going to be showing, so I'm not as worried about it as the front. And I'm going to kind of smooth this out. Not sure how I feel about that. I really don't really like it. We may, we may switch gears here. I'm a very visual person, so sometimes what I think looks is going to look good in my head. Um, okay, so here's where I am right now. I changed my mind on the crown, and I molded the paper clay a little bit better, and I've added this knob. It's a knob from Hobby Lobby. Added just a little bit more of the muslin around the top of the image and hit it with the heat tool to speed up the drying process. So now I've got this green um, chalk paint. It's homemade chalk paint and a sponge. And I'm just going to start, I'm going to start in the back to dab the bottle. There is a little texture to this chalk paint, this, this particular color, and um, I thought that might work well over the texture paste. Let's see how that's looking. There's a little bit of green in the image, so I thought this might bring it together. We'll see. Nothing else. I'm having fun. There are some cracks in the texture paste, and I love that. I'm going to bring in, let's get out some of the Distress Oxide. This is Vintage Photo. I want to try that here and there with a pouncer and uh, see how that does. Total experimentation here. Okay, I'm not getting a lot of coming from that. It's working. It's working. And I don't want it to look like a, a pattern or anything. I just want it to look very random. Obviously. To give it, you know, an old look. Kind of grungy a little bit. I think I'm getting somewhere. I think I'm getting somewhere with that. That's looking pretty. Okay. Go for some more of that on this muslin. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, I like that. I love it. 
I'm loving it now. Dirty up this muslin down here with this. Once again, uh, my dogs, no respect for filming, none at all, none at all. This is giving it a more cohesive look now, I believe. Now to decide what color I want to paint the faux cork. I thought it looked kind of like a champagne cork in the top. So I think, obviously, I'll just try a cork color. painted on there and add our embellishments. What do you think of it so far? I like it. Too much white down here though. I'm gonna have to add, I might add something shiny down here in this um, little crease for the fun of it because we're gonna dress this up. We've grunged it up and then we're gonna dre uh, dress it up, back up. Coming along. Okay, next is total experimentation. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I think it's worth a try. I'm taking a little bit of the Bare Dark Antique Wax and I want to go along some of these edges. Get rid of some of that white that's showing. I don't want so much white showing. I got so much, I'm gonna bring it on up. That's gonna help seal this bottle. That's looking yummy. both white and dark wax out because I wasn't sure if I want to mix the two or just go with the dark. I think I'm really liking the dark. You can always go back and lighten it up a little bit with the white wax. I didn't like this look. But the more I do to this, the happier I'm getting with it. I, it's, I think it's finally coming together. It has, this project has kind of stretched me and I like that. So there's, there's what the top part looks like now. Get right up here. I'm going to get in these creases of the clay. So it really, you know, accentuates the edge of that. See, let's see how this this wax looks on the paper clay for the for the cork look. Ooh, not at all. Let's see what we do. There we go. That makes it look more like a cork, I believe. Now let's just get get this down here at the bottom zone. On the back. We've got our muslin back here. Got a good grungy look going. Happy now. 
This is not at all the look I thought I would be going for, but this is the way it turned out, and I love when that happens. You shift gears, you try something, and it doesn't quite look the way you want it to, so you just redo it. I mean, just add something else to it. That's the great thing about a mixed media pro uh, project. You keep working with it until you are happy with it. How's that coming? Not bad. Not bad. I think I'll darken up the cork just a little bit more, um, and then we'll be ready for embellishments. Of course, you know, I could sit here and fiddle with it all day. There's, a, there's where we are now. Um, I'm gonna go pick out a pretty brown color to paint the cork. And we'll see how that goes. For the next step, I want to mix a little bit. Let me grab the paper plate. Mix a little bit of this worn penny by Deco Art. It's a metallic. We're gonna see how this looks. I decided to go in a totally different direction, obviously. And. I need a little bit of, just a dot of black to mix with it. And let's get a brush. Just mix that right up. Here's what I have. I'm gonna see how, I'm gonna start in the back to see how this is gonna look. Oh, that's pretty. I was trying to find a color that looked similar to cork, and then I remembered worn penny and black, and oh, how pretty is this metallic gonna be on here? You can still see the texture of the clay, which is awesome. I'm loving it. Okay, next step. I have, I have some lace that I thought might look pretty around the bottom, but let's see. can take, this is totally dazzled, you cut, you can cut strips off as wide or as skinny as you want. So let's take, let's take a piece of this and see how it's going to look. Well, that dries anyway. We might put this around the bottom to add a little bling. This is very easy to cut. I think that's gonna be, yeah, that's plenty long enough. Now let's see how, a little bit of bling will look around the bottom. about that so we could try it in the cold like this that's pretty fancy mm, decisions decisions Hold that 
in place for a second and take a peek at it. Oh, I'm not hating that at all. That's fun. Very fun. And I think I'll just press that into the paper clay. Like that. And then all that's left, I can think of right now, are some pearls that I found at a little antique store last weekend. And now she's all dressed up. What do you think? Here's our finished bottle. I want to, you know, you kind of futz with, with the pearls a little bit. I want those beautiful little, um, what are they? Little, um, fancy rhinestone beads. I don't want the clasp in the front. But anyway, there's what we have. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial and that you'll try altering your own bottle. Um, start saving your bottles or start haunting the little thrift stores and antique stores to get some really fun shapes. Thank you for watching. Bye. I wasn't completely satisfied with the way it was looking. So, let me pull you up here. I decided to add a little more of the metallic worn penny to bring that in with the cork look. A little more muslin with the pearls that can just you know, hang loosely. And I've got one more idea, one more piece of muslin here and this awesome key, copper key that will match. So I wanna just have this dangle on the bottle. So let's tie that right here. See how it looks. There it is. And you don't need my phone cord, do you? <laughs> All right, let me pull you back just a little. So here's how our mixed media, this started out as a Prosecco bottle. I loved the shape of it. And now I'm, I'm totally in love. I love this altered bottle mixed media art project. And I hope you do too. If you do hit subscribe for me, give us a like, leave a comment. We would really appreciate it. Bye.